not miss any of these briefings with the whole of your life. If you miss it, I think greater percentage of your life is going to be gone. All right. And then, you know, Evans, just lift me up and just bring in people. I will teach um, today, and then Wednesday, and then next Sunday. And Wednesday, of course, the upper Sunday is going to be um, family Sunday. All right. Destructive men. In fact, Kasaka, I mean, destructive men to avoid. <laughs> All right, there's there's a there's a there's a there's a there's a you know I'm trying to pick up my sound you know. Jesus Christ made a statement. Okay, let me take a let me take a let me take a why in our children in the dialogue? Don't tell me any man events. You know, let me take a poll. You know, some melody soon I require none. If you're not married, I want you to just wave your hand. You're not married. You're single. You're single, just wave your hand, you know. All right, just wave everywhere. Let me see, let me see, let me see whether I'm bringing a word in season. Okay, all right. If you're married, Nagasu Matanjaba, Sunet de Anusna Kaluna, Subosawaki, you're in old timers. You're in Kadubesu. If you're married, if you're married, just. When we are, when Susan said, "Anya, how wish now when the bus we are ready?" No, you're already married. If you're married, just wave your hand. <laughs> All right. So, so muna nang anandika. So we're going to deal with some issues. There is a statement that Jesus Christ um, made, you know, and we usually don't don't take it, um, you know, we take it for granted, you know. This is what he said. He said, as you move in this life. You know, there are some qualities I want you to pick. Number one, be as wise as a serpent. All right. While you pick up the wisdom, you know, you know, you know. But again, I don't want you to be biting like a serpent. I want you to be harmless like a dove. All right. The, the major problem is that when you come to ladies, you know, coming into marriage, you know, unfortunately, we are usually harmless to a fault. And then we are not very wise when it comes to getting into um, relationship. All right. But getting into relationship has to do with a lot of wisdom. All right. You know, and of course, one of the things that I usually say it in this place, you don't make a life changing decision emotionally. You don't allow emotions to come in as you begin to make all right. That's why you cannot say zang aureka wal kanana abuge. No, you you need to be normal, celebrate, hankalinka your mind together, you know, so that you can be able to, you know. However, when it comes to the issue of marriage, time is going, pressure from everywhere, you know. For a lady, because we are actually wired emotionally, emotions enters into our decisions. All right, but God is not an emotional. Well, though He allows emotion, but some of the few words you hear about Him is here statue, you hear precept, you hear concept, you hear you know law. All right, okay, statue, precept, law, those are not emotional thing. All right, you know when you have a statue, you know, or when you go to the high court, you're going to see you know Mother Justice. She's a statue. All right, her eyes are blinded because they don't actually see a thing. They are not moved. You know, when you also see a statue, you, you know, you know, run about me doki. All right, the weather doesn't affect that doki. The rain doesn't affect that doki. The sun doesn't affect that doki or things like that. That is why if you are married, okay, you cannot allow emotions, you know, because once you come in into marriage, then the laws and statues begin to operate. You can't just walk with emotions as you begin to take your decisions whether to stay in the marriage. No, you are supposed to stay in the marriage based because it's a statue. Am I talking in? Am I talking in house of refuge? Okay, all right. So, so my assignment here is to help. You know, I said it. I told you last week that I always pray for every young person. You know, to be able to be connected to the right person. You know, because your effectiveness in life and your ability to shoot. You know, and hit the target and become, all right, is tied to, you know, you know, the person that you are married to. 
All right, your marriage has the ability to drill you in your purpose. All right, your marriage has the ability to confuse you and then completely sidetrack you. All right, and in this life, for you to be able to achieve focus is important. You have to be laser sharp. You cannot be struggling in this house, struggling, and then, okay, if you have somebody that is laser sharp and you're running together, you are struggling with one and father, I get another No, you will never hit it. All right, okay. And it matters that you have somebody that, you know, you know, you know, you know, um, is together with you as you begin to traverse in this life. So you must be wise. All right, the reason why God had to mention wisdom, you know, because wisdom is hinged on, stat you know, on statues, all right, on the principles and the law of God. God is actually a respecter, you know, of principle, all right. So I want to, you know, begin to go in fast because I'll move fast. Our weather is not helping us, and there are a lot of things that I need to deal with, all right. Um, if you're here, listen to me, all right. Let nobody. Help me now. You know, you know, listen to me. There are destructive men. If you're a lady, listen to me. There are destructive. Okay, the men are trying to say women. You know, no, I'm not dealing with women, I'm dealing with men. There are destructive men. All right, okay. When the Imbaki Hankaliba, Rayuaki Ze Gurugunta, you know, and then you start hating men as a result of your mistake, meeting one destructive man. Meanwhile, there are good men. All right, I, I say, meanwhile, there are good men. Come on. Okay, but a good man is hard to find. Oh, am I talking here? Are you hearing what I, 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 okay. If you meet a good man, treasure that man with the whole of your life. You know, because no matter that they are after this good man that we want to destroy them. I'm not talking about Muna You know, because there's nobody that is ugly on the outside. You know, if you think I'm lying, give the person money because you can dress on top of ugly. <laughs> Oh, somebody began even naked for the band. Yeah. All right. So basically, that's what I'm, you know, I'm dealing with. You know, I'm not enjoying my sound at all. In fact, better when I first came up. When I first came up, you know. There are destructive men, and these destructive men are destructive to themselves. They're destructive to their wives. They are destructive to their children, Kai, and they are finally destructive to the society. All right, and my responsibility is just help you see. All right, my assignment is to give the women, you know, the quickness and accuracy, you know, of discernment. All right, and your ability to be keen and have a keenness of insight that you need to not become ensnared in what I call a hurtful relationship all right the reason why when a relationship you know become mad the women are more heat is because women are emotional men are logical all right and then he will go no not not a woman and then women are not like you they have what we call womb okay not just that they have physical womb okay they have spiritual womb and they have emotional womb all right so it's not easy for a woman to forget a thing just like that all right once you do a thing it goes to the womb all right if it is the emotional womb all right it goes there if you give her a smart spam it goes to a physical womb all right and most often anything that enters a womb a womb is a gestation place whether you like it or not if that seed is not aborted that seed is going to come forth are you hearing me? All right. And sometimes it's going to comfort in pain, anger, this, this, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, resentment, you know, and, and, and things like that. No woman behave on her own. Whenever you see an action of a lady, it's as a result of what is planted in her. Whether planted in her by her father, by her boyfriend, by the society, even planted by her mother. All right. So it creates, you know, all of that. 
and then when they begin to move because they carry that thing you know in them however that is why jesus christ came he said come on to me Oh, ye that are heavy laden. Some of you here, you might not be able to be ready to receive what God has for you because you are so filled with anger and resentment and suspicion. And even when God is bringing something, you cannot see it. And sometimes you have to understand that what is in the inside of you attracts, you know, what you, you know, okay? So if you're not being able to abort evil, things that are done to you, Pain, then chances are you might begin to attract those kind of things so that it perpetuates in your life all right because the devil never wants to release its prey am i talking here so when jesus said come unto me it's because he actually wants to touch you so that the pain of the past doesn't have effect on your today and he positions you so that you can receive the good thing that he has for you am i talking in house of refuge come and put your hands together if you understand what i'm talking about and 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 and, and whenever you meet people that are not heal all right they go about destroying so you have a lady that is pain and not heal and god brought a very very good man but because her inside is already polluted she destroys that man she suspects him abuse him say anything the reason is because she's dysfunctional before she meets this good man am i talking in this place all right okay so it is important that you become you become healed you become whole all right so that you begin to enter into um all right into a relationship some people enter into a relationship with wounds that are still fresh blood dripping everywhere all right some people enter into a relationship so that they can hit back on that other guy that 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 just jitter them to show them i'm sorry i mean you know so you enter into a relationship with your eyes still not together still in pain not healed and anybody that is emotionally wounded can never make a right decision am i talking here I said, come and put your hands together. So my assignment, I want to help you to have discernment. All right. I will also help women that are already married to a, or involved with destructive or such men, you know, and then I want to release and give you a happy hand with how to cope up, you know, in a healthy manner. You know, because somebody said, oh, but I'm already married. All right. All right. If you're married, stay married. I'm not going to tell you come out no you're married legally bound all right but we need to know how to navigate you know in that if you're a lady and you want to live long here on earth and enjoy life there are some men that when you see them you have to run you have to run with the whole of your life you know you have to run you know those men are wrong and you must avoid them. All right, there are about 10 types of, you know, all right, men that are wrong for you. Number one, the ungodly man. Number two, the addict. The addict, you know, are people that are controlled by substance. Once somebody is controlled by substance, he can never be Holy Spirit controlled. And anybody that is not Holy Spirit controlled is destructive all right okay number three the angry man anger is in the bosom of fools all right these are men that you need to avoid number four the deceiver there are men that are just like devils you know they operate like their father the devil who is a liar and a deceiver from the beginning if you see those kind of men, don't rationalize. You have to avoid them with the whole of your life. There are some, number, number five, they are mama's boys. When you meet mama boy, you're in trouble. style, <laughs> You know, mama's boy, very destructive. And you can never cleave if you don't leave. Most marriages are destroyed because men refuse to leave. And therefore shall a man leave his mother 
and his father. No man will ever build a house if he never leaves his mother and his father. Isaac couldn't actually, you know, come into union with his wife until Sarah died. Look at your neighbor and say, Sarah must die. Oh. I said, look at the neighbor and say, Sarah must die. Oh. If you're a mama's boy, you become in competition with your mother-in-law. And your mother will actually pick another wife for your husband. You know? And if you have a mama's boy, you're in trouble because he will never stand for you. And I'm not saying that you should raise a woman that disrespects your mother. Any woman that disrespects an elderly person is wicked and an assignment of hell. Am I talking here? I say, am I talking here? I say, am I talking here? Every woman, you should be able to respect your mother and the mother of your husband. All right? Not just because she's the mother of your husband. Nobody here will have a good life if he disrespect old people. You can never move forward looking down on old people. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? Talk less of your mother. All right? You can't speak like that because you want to steal the heart of a, of a son. No, you can't do that. All right? Am I talking here? Nation I'm gonna. All right. But when you meet a mama's boy, don't you ever agree to marry that person. You're going to go into destruction and your life is going to be actually, you know, number, number six, the control freak. Very dangerous man. In Magana Suba, Magana Suba, Komika Oyapachi. They are extremely controllable. So that's okay. A lady that has a purpose and a vision and destroy her for the rest of her life. In Kaganta, that is the man Abunto say, Soraya Shigeta, but the vision. Meanwhile, Kathin Tay Aure, she is a go girl with power, but she fell into a hand of a demon that is extremely controllable. So now I shake your touch to her. Control freak are demonic. Whenever you meet them, don't. They are religious people. Come and put your hands together. They are in they are so much in tradition. Submission is mutual. As she as she submits to you, you submit to her. Oh, somebody be gani me neke for If you're not ready to submit to her, you're not ready for marriage. Number seven, Mr. Wonderful. I come on time now. Time now, my attitude, if I didn't mention, I have just changed it. Back one, I'm bunny, time now, I'm bunny, she doesn't really go into me. Nina Nasani, I sent a bit of Bunda Nasani going. You could not so could be Nigidana. You know, Karamunta. Nike, Nike car in time. Yes. Number eight, the cowardly lion. Meet a, marry the coward, you know, you will not be protected. Number eight, number nine. The detached man. Detached man. Like Ishama Mike, you marry somebody like that. Back on, and women, life blood for every marriage is communication. You, you want to kill a woman, cut communication. Once you don't talk to her, she's going to dry up. If you make a mistake and marry a detached man, you're going to be in serious trouble. All right. In fact, your Zuga Su, Su, what's up, the phone? Soon I far a team because you say my detachment. The last one is the the eternal kid. Forty but behaving like twelve year old. Kato amaya na nanka mayaro. You know what I mean? 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 
Ato de Shihaga. And Yakaza Girma, he's eternally a child. Eternal, eternal kid. Baba Yanai Abuyara Kanana. Had you been in Kanana Mata, Yana Fama de Gia, Katonka, Kato Haka, Baba. How she come on baby Karemi? Call me say I'm Ante Mishka on Bomboy. Yeah, to see as I want to make a day, me and another. I'm not going to go. Oh, 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 yeah, I'm a meeting in a day. Could look at the Terry Wakade back, you could know I want to Zamu Jagid and Nafa, Zamu Jagid and Sumamana, Casamama, Kataka, you know. Hallelujah. There are many. I'll just give you ten. If at this ten, I'm not even finish it. All right. In 25 minutes, I want to pick up the first one. The ungodly man. The problem, whenever you meet the ungodly man, the problem with the ungodly man is that he has no foundation. He has no foundation for living. And then he has no platform for change. You are going to be among men most miserable when you meet a man that doesn't have Christ in him. The Bible says that Christ in you, the hope of change, the hope of the coming glory. But the ungodly or the godless man, you know, are people that change you know once you sign that contract you are in trouble because what will make them change is not there and you're going to be in serious there's no foundation you know for living those kind of people they live without the knowledge or relationship with god and in this life because you're not the one that created yourself you can't survive without the relationship with god and if you hook up with somebody that doesn't have a relationship with God, then you are signing hell on earth. This person, he has no concept of spiritual. And that results in him becoming desperate. Because he has to walk with strength, not knowing that with strength shall no man prevail. So he is desperate. He wants to cut corners. Trying to make up the rules of life as he goes. The danger in this kind of a person married to him is because God doesn't speak to him. What speaks to him is a force that is not in line with what you believe. So when he wants to slap, there is no force that constrains him. The Bible said that the love of Christ constrains us. The people that are in church and are married doesn't mean that they don't get angry. It doesn't mean that they are not being as abused. But when they are abused, there is a force that controls them. The Bible said that when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to a rock that is higher than I. So they know where to go. And, but when you meet a godless person, that res controlling force is not there. And he will only regret after he finished the act. Because there is no force that holds him. They are godless. He is miserable and out of control. And whenever he does a thing, he is actually doing it as an attempt to reassure himself that he is right about life and and everybody else is wrong because he's the only one that set the rules 
But you cannot set a rule if you know, you know, you, you know, there's a ruler. It's dangerous to be in a relationship with a guy who believes that he has it all figured out. They don't take counsel. They don't take advice. They don't respect anybody. They're not committed to anything. The challenge with these kind of people is that most of them have missed the most important fundamental relationship in this life. And that first relationship is the relationship with God. When God made man, the first thing that he gave man was the gift of his presence. Any man that doesn't love the presence of God is a dangerous man. He gave him the gift of the presence before he gave him the woman. In the, in the ungodly man or the godless man, there are many categories or types. I'm just going to give you three before I give you the, their characteristics. There are some godless men that believe that if there is a real God, then he thinks God should have prevented either his mother from dying, his sister, or should have healed. All right, so they become angry when life happens. So they turn and say, that, Well, there is no God. And some of them are angry, leaving church and coming hard. They try to other, when you meet these kind of people, they try to other their world to prove that they don't need God. So some of them are extremely hard workers. They will want to get everything to prove to people, I don't need God. These are the people that when you hear them quote, they begin to look at Bill Gates. He doesn't go to church. Look at it, you know, and they are fools. Because a fool says in his heart that there is no God. So they work hard so that they can prove, you know, that they don't need God. They make their life so good and say that they eliminate the need for God. They are very meticulous in what they do. They fight. This is a, a separate category. They avoid desperation with planning. They don't like things to take them unawares. Some, because they have put faith before in God and the healing didn't come, things didn't happen, and they just feel that it's their hand that they, okay. So they are very good planners. But they are godless. They never come to a point of recognizing the need of God. They don't understand the joy of a relationship with God. And they are actually living a miserable life. Now, this type of class, they figure that you better get used to doing things for yourself. Because no one on earth will do it for you. But let me announce to somebody. Some trust in chariots. Some trust in horses. But there are some of us that trust in the name of our God. Because we know that no matter how you fight, there is a limit that you can go. And baby, I look towards the hill from whence cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord. War is any man that depends on flesh. Because the hand of flesh shall fail you. If you're a woman and you're meeting a man that is godless and doesn't respect your God or doesn't subscribe to your God, Baby, you are in trouble because even God will be an enemy, enemy to that relationship and to you. Am I talking in this place? There is another category of the ungodless. I'll give you, you know, no, these ones are a type of ungodly men are those that they are extremely undesirable. The first one is a little bit different, but this one, they are crass. From afar, you see a devil moving. They are loud. They are brash. And they love to put other people down. They are crass. When you meet them, they are just like that. But they respect more order and but the kunya magana. They are just like that. Zasu zageki suimiki kome. Zasu, they are just loud. Anytime you meet them, you will hear their voice. Ungodly. They don't honor God. They don't respect anybody. Insungaso homu tizacheka ina kunyanka. In a kunyanka, kada kaka kama mfaringa ina niva kadi ni 
wow, you? And then you meet a girl, and say, uh, Joe, kada kuba shau. She enjoy high how she, and you want to marry him. The man had a joke, and yeah, how she buy a ganin, buy a ganin gedar on kwa, and you want to marry him. Joe, hey, Joe, kada Joe, yeah, fara fushi, hey. Ama kikasa mina ba Joe, he's nice. No devil can be nice. Come on, put your hands together if you understand them. I said, come on, put your hands together. They are, they are loud. They love to tell rouchy jokes and lewd stories. Go to their Facebook page. No, no, much. Jokes that they, they, they share. Just na is country. Just go to their page. Insun taru, insun a joke. The jokes na zina. The joke na mutu nyafadi a year. The joke, the jokes, they are crass people, ungodly. There is no any fear of God in them. They can't remember anything that God, even, even the breath that God in about, they don't even you know, recognize it. They are loud. They have a company, they love to tell rouchy jokes, lewd stories. They enjoy embarrassing those around them. When you are bad, that's when they are excited. They're excited with evil things happening to people. They run from places to places looking for hey, terrible news. Their mindset is this. What is it? Eat. Drink. Be merry. Gobe mumutu. God bless. Nikamba, am I communicating here? Ina magana nkiriki kwa? Kusancha kwa muta ni like that ko? If you understand what I'm saying, just wave your hand. And of course, some of you, you're in a relationship with those kind of people. To them, if it is smooth, easy to handle, then these are the type of things that they like. Whether you're a car, a woman, or a booze. They just want it. The thrill for those kind of people mostly sometimes may be cheap and the right short. But to them, who cares? Many, they don't have regard for eternity. Most of them, most often, they live alone. Sometimes because they actually, they don't, they don't rely, rely on God. They work long hours on their job. And right from the places of their job, they are closing. They go straight to fire service. Come on, put your hands together if you understand what I'm talking about. They don't know anything about midweek. They don't know church. No, no. From the place, from fire service, they stay till around 12 1. Not quite party. They dub there like they go there. And then later they go back. That's the key. What haka sugo gida kalau ni kamba ya kuna kalona kama basa muna na kifada bani kujara mu wanche labla kada ana kalona abunda na kifada dega uji. They pick up a girl for a night, or they lie down watching naked women on screens until they sleep off. And some of you are in relationship with them. Most often they come home late. Most of the night. And they wake up the next day and repeat the same cycle again. Because God is not in there. This type of people, they love drinking. They love looking at women. It's the back side that is, you know, you know, you know. he fills his life with pleasure. Running from one fleshly lust to another. No nyash satisfied them. They are actually very, very adventurous. If you're in a relationship with those kind of a people, I want to blow your bubble. You're not the only one in their life. Because their nature... They are not satisfied with one. 
Come on, put your hands together. That's why whenever you meet a godless man, all the rest is part of his life. They are deceivers. They are smooth and they can play it well. So some what you know, so some what you like. That's why we shave a They are smooth. But they are dangerous. Okay, come on, the emotions, Nike. Some of them are very good looking, but they are useless. They are tall. <laughs> come on, put your hands together if you understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> Somebody shout! <laughs> These kind of people, they don't acknowledge God in their life. Because for them, he doesn't want anybody to get in his way of fun. Never want his conscience to be act activated. The third category, this one's the most dangerous. They are in church. They know all the worship song. They can speak in tongues. They know how to fall under the anointing without hurting themselves. Says do by I wouldn't have you But Kariane, they want to get you, ne? Only for you to be in a house, queen aure and kada we and so uku demon ye fito. Their children can't relate with them. They are evil, wicked, manipulative people. Anger is in their bosom. And you're confused, you can't relate. What you saw in church and what you have in hand. Marriage is the only thing that sometimes it advertises what it cannot deliver. Now come and put your hands together. I said come and put your hands together. <laughs> the second category <laughs> of those grouchy wicked people <laughs> Those people, they date variety of women. But most of them, when you take the average of how long they stay with a woman is five to six months. They have to find a way to get you off. Because they don't want you to, you know, take average. In Kinkai, one year, that Mubaki trophy. The most lasting stupid woman in the life of a godly man. Most often, he always, when you meet them, they are too possessive and too clingy. But they don't want you to be possessive on them. And they don't want you to be clingy. Once you want to own them, they will shake you off. Because in their nature, they can't stay with one person. So they have to create a way. Because they move on. But they never go without them forcing themselves on you. When they leave, they must have slept with you. If they don't sleep with you, they will still be there. Once they get you, and if you happen to be within the first five months, get ready in the six months they are gone. They are liars. They can say anything. Most often, they are abusers. They can abuse you emotionally. They can abuse you physically. And sometimes they can abuse you sexually. Because the sex of a drug addict is different from a sex of a normal man. These people, they don't have God. And some of you, are in a relationship with those people. In fact, you are hearing me, you are there. In fact, you have picked up their manners in Kufara Shengiatari already. This man and all of the men like him are repulsive to most people. And Nikamba, am I helping somebody here? Are, are, you, are you happy you are in church, my time? I have I have just I have just seven minutes. Time now I carry it. So when you're dealing with godless men, 
What does it mean to be godless? I'm going to give you few characteristics of a godless person. And the best place to check is in the Bible. I will use the book of Job and also the book of you know, Proverbs. The first characteristics of a godless man, number one, he forgets God. Very dangerous place to be. Job chapter 8 and verse 13. He forgets God. They don't retain God. That's why in Romans said that because you refuse to retain me, God has released you to a reprobate mind. So are the parts of all that forget God. A godless man forgets God. Doesn't, he's, you know, that's why one of the anger of God is he, he does a miracle, brought you out from Egypt, blah, 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 and they forget God. They forget, he gave you a job, take you out, but they forget God. Don't settle with an ungodly man that forget God. They don't care about church, care about time. They are godless. That's number two. He places his hope in things that perish. Same verse. He places his hope in things that perish. Same verse. The hypocrite or the godless hope he said, he said, the godless hope shall perish. Give me new, you know, NIV. Places their hope. All right, okay. In other words, anything that they hope for perishes, but that's where they place their hope. They look for things that perish. In this, they will turn out for my... Uh, uh, May 1 now, 16. May 8, 13. Such is the destiny of, of all that Forget God. So perishes the hope of the godless. They put their hope on things that perishes. Number three. The godless people, very terrible. They can never come into God's presence. Give me 13, 16. Give me 13, 16. He also shall be my salvation. But look at it. But a hypocrite or a godless shall not come before him. Or shall not come to the presence. Okay. All right. When you meet a man that doesn't like church, doesn't love to pray, doesn't... That's, you know... And listen to me. Once you don't have the presence of God, your future is doomed. Listen to what Moses said. If you don't go with us, we are going to be destroyed. In other words, we want you to go with us. That's why when he's a, he's a cloud and a pillar. Because if the presence doesn't Control and go with you. Listen to me. Listen to me. Look at me. If God will open your eyes to see the germs that he has stopped from touching your body. The accident that could have happened but never happened. You'll be praising him all the rest of your life. Woe unto you if you don't go with the presence of God. If you are in a relationship with the godless, then you are in trouble. Because you are now at the mercy of life. The Bible said that when the enemy, wicked, comes up like a flood, the spirit of the Lord is going to raise the standard. Not so with the god godless. The Bible said that the wicked are driven like a chaff. Because there is something about the presence of God. That goes to war. Fights a battle that you don't have to fight. Wings it and he doesn't have to tell you. Positions you. Direct your path. And put your feet on a butter. Establish you on a rock to stand. 
pick you from a merry clay. When you meet the, ungo- the, 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 you know, the godless, they don't. Number four, his relationship are barren. Job 15 verse 34. For the congregation of the hypocrite shall be desolate. Give me a different version than Allah. Look at this. For the company of the godless will be barren. And fire will consume the tent of those who love bribes. The company, all right, their relationship is barren. The only way you have fruit is when you abide in me. And my word abide in you. All right, so when somebody is godless, get ready. Things dry up in their hands. They can't produce and reproduce. They are barren. I'm not talking about I who I but I'm talking about life. The next one, the godless, they uphold the innocent of the upright. Job 17 and verse 8. Upright men are appalled at this. The innocent are aroused against the ungodly. In other words, when you meet the person that is godless, he always hates and fights anybody Christian. That's why you are in a relationship with somebody. He abused pastors, abused church, and abused anybody that is upright. And you are in a relationship with him. You are in a relationship with him. You are in a relationship and you want to marry him. The next one, characteristics. His exaltation or joy is short lived. Every godless person, don't be so excited. Everything is going to dry up. And if you really, listen to me, the arrow that killed Jonathan wasn't meant for Jonathan, it was meant for Saul. But because Jonathan is attached, that was Jonathan's mistake. He was attached to Saul. And the arrow that was meant to kill Saul, kill him and kill Saul. That's why when you are in a relationship with the godless, sometimes the bullet sent to destroy him can take you out. You want to clap, clap? My time, you have to... You want to clap, clap well. And some of you are in a relationship with him. Upright men are appalled at this. The innocent are aroused. Nature, give me, no, I said 25. Give me 25. That the mind of the wicked is brief. It's brief. The joy of the godless lasts, but for a moment. So don't be following the car. Yeah, yeah, say, the moon blow. It's brief. The next one is that he has no hope. Give me 27, 8. 27, 8. For what hope has the godless when he is cut off? Look at what terrible scripture. When God takes off his life. And some of you are in a relationship. Characteristics of a godless. Last one is Proverbs 11. Verse 9. When you meet a godless person, check how they destroy other people with their mouth. With his mouth, the godless destroy his neighbor. It is only <laughs> through knowledge that the righteous escape. You meet somebody, you want to get married, he will take this one. There is no one person that he cannot abuse. He will take his mouth, reduce this one. Once you show a keen 
interest on somebody, the godless will take them out and reduce the person to useless. So that Kokaima the Sisi Balaka Seishiba. Because they are into everything. Every gossip in town, they have it. Ana Kaumusu Hargida. They always tear their neighbors. The God, and you are in a relationship. All right. When you meet a man that you are with a relationship with, and his gist is about somebody bringing the person down, wrong. They are godless people. These are destructive people. They destroy themselves and they will destroy anybody that is in their life. If you make a mistake and marry them and give birth, chances are they might destroy you and destroy the children. My time is carrying. Some of you are in a relationship with a godless person. He's nice. Be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. A wise woman will cut the person off without the guy knowing. A foolish woman will give excuse as to, that's why later I'm going to show you the kind of women that get attracted to that kind of a person. Some of them are having the same dysfunction like the man. He resembles their father. No, I'm telling you. Their father hates the mother, beats them, you know. So they are, they are, they are attracted to their dysfunction. You don't understand what I'm talking about. That's why sometimes if you are not a woman, the first place you need to go is to go to God for him to heal you. If not unconsciously, you will attract what you hate. Come and put your hands together. Because it is when you are healed that you can see well. Some, the reason <laughs> they want to change the person, they are missionaries. Why is the Chances are you might not come back alive. We have information. The blood has already been shed. Those kind of people, don't touch them until they are clothed and in their right mind. Because they are madmen in Gadara. They cut themselves. They are destructive. Jesus met the guy with a stone. And anything that is around him, they yanka. Don't touch those kind of people. Leave them. Let them meet God. But when they are clothed and in their right mind, that's when you can handle them. There are women that are wounded in pain because you are hooked up to a godless person. Some of you that are here, I don't even know how much you do. Sex is normal. In a, ma in a relationship that is not yet married and you are lifting hands. You are in a godless relationship with a godless man the hope will be cut off destruction is awaited this guy doesn't have regards for your emotion these are destructive people that from afar when you see them you wrong don't rationalize stupidity the type of women they are attracted to why they are attracted to the type of women and those of you that are already having that kind of a man in your hand, how do you handle? I have an assignment as your apostle loves to help you. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. Wow. I feel the anointing of God in this place. Somebody already is trying to make a decision. I give you strength in the name of Jesus. Somebody is making up their mind. In this moment, I refuse the enemy to interfere with that decision. I bind you, devil. Stop. You can't touch them. We salvage destinies and salvage homes. In the name of Jesus, we demand that our families, our homes, this is our family month, is going to be protected by God. I release the blood of Jesus over every house, every home. 
and everything that is connected to us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because it's done. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, put your hands together. I said, come on, put your hands together. You enjoy church?